And we're going to look at creating some gravity for our character so he isn't just floating up in the air there. So right now if I go into game mode, you see I can make him move left and right from what we did in the last tutorial using my arrow keys. Uh, but he's floating above the ground there. We want him to fall to the ground uh, no matter where he is if there's nothing below him. So I'm going to right click on our character. I'm going to go to uh, actor control again. And we're going to add event. And we're going to go to uh, draw actor. Think of this as an always if you're familiar with Blender. So this is something that's going to happen constantly. It's going to constantly be checking this as the game's going. Uh, and we're going to add an action and we're going to add a script, so script editor. And we're going to type in uh, y velocity. And basically y, like I said, is up and down. And this is the, the velocity, so the speed, if you will, um, that uh, the character is going to move on that axis. So that's going to move up and down. So y velocity equals y velocity. And we're going to say, and this is a little confusing. You would think that n negative would be down and positive would be up. But in this case, it seems to be backwards. We're going to say plus, And I think 4 would probably be a good number. Uh, the higher the number, the faster our character fall. And that with a semicolon. So y velocity equals y velocity plus 4 semicolon. So the speed that he's going up and down at equals the speed he's going up and down at plus four. We're going to click add and we're going to say immediate actor. We're going to close that. Now if we hit game mode, whoop, he falls down. Try it again, game mode, whoop, he falls down. Now we need to add some physics so when he hits the ground he doesn't fall through the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another actor. We're going to say draw so it's going to be, oh no I'm sorry, close. We're going to add an actor and we're going to go to collision so when it collides with and here we're going to say collide on, and it's set to any side. You can say top, bottom, left, right, top and bo top or bottom, left or right. We're just going to leave it on any side. So on any side, if it hits a ground material, so here we're going to choose an actor of ground. So wherever our ground is, whether it's top, bottom, left or right of our character, this is what we're going to do, the action. So we're going to add action now. And we're going to choose uh, physics, physic res physical response. And I'm going to leave most of these default except for the event actor here. We're going to set that to zero. Um, and basically that's how hard it will bounce off stuff. So if you want your character to bounce, like if you have a ball or something, the higher you make that number, the more they're going to bounce off when they hit the ground. But we're going to leave it at zero for right now. We're going to hit add. We're going to say immediate action. We can close that and we can click game mode here. Boom. He fell right down onto our grass here. Whoop! He kind of fell through the grass right there. Now, the reason I believe for that is the fact that it's trying to find all these little grains of grass here, and the fact we're also floating on top of the grass. We don't want to be floating on top of the grass. We actually want to sit on the ground, possibly behind the grass. So let's hit escape to get out of game mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose our ground here in our little drop down menu and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go tile, single tile, draw tile. So we're in draw mode now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the grass. And the way I do that is I'm going to hit, sh hold down the right shift key and click and just drag over the grass I want to erase. And then I can hit escape. Now if we hit game mode he falls down to the ground and I can move left and right and he doesn't fall through. And the problem was that it was the physics weren't getting all those little grains of grass just right. But if we want grass, we'll just add another actor. So we'll click add actor here and we'll call it grass. And once again, by default, it puts the little Pac-Man character here. We're going to place him right there. We're going to click on him, right click on him that is, actor control. And you can see it's grass and we're going to say uh, add animation. And once again, I'm just going to choose default tiles that come with uh, the editor, but you can import any tiles. Uh, PNG or BPM, uh, BMP, I think, are you know the two that it takes. So tile one, and I will click OK. And then I'm going to hit tile here, single tile. Leave those as they are. Draw a tile. And hit my right arrow to scroll through until I get to grass. There we are. 
and I'll just draw some grass on top of our ground. And when I'm done, I'll hit escape. Now, when he falls, he's going to ignore the grass because his event, the actor for his physics event is ground, which is this. This is not ground, this is grass. So if we go into game mode, boop, there he is. He's behind the grass and it's like he's running through the grass. That is it for this tutorial. I hope you're learning a lot. I hope you give this open source tool a try and create some open source games that are cross platform. Um, keep watching, many more tutorials to come. To get this editor, once again, the link is in the description, but it's game-editor.com. Go there, download it for Windows or Linux right now, and shortly it'll be available for Mac OS X. So um, have a great day and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.